We're getting close on the sky and we need a couple last minute corrections or uh, final corrections. We do not want the stars. Doesn't make sense to have the stars in front of the planet. The planet, we're thinking about scale, right? Mars is pretty close to us right now. And these are distant stars, right? The clouds are in the atmosphere. So the clouds can kind of be over the top, which is fine, but not the stars. So what we need to do, we need to make a selection of Mars. So we're going to command click on the Mars thumbnail. And you can see it adds those marching ants, makes a selection of Mars. And we come up to stars and we want to do non-destructive editing. And we want to cut out stars from that area so we want to come up to our layer mask oops it accidentally does it backwards right makes it white so it reveals the stars only there so let's undo command z and instead of doing an inverse like we have been up in the select menu if you option click it will do the opposite when adding the layer mask so option click on the layer mask and now you can see the stars because our mask here is black and black conceals, black conceals the stars from over the top of Mars. Now, let's get, um, let's try Mars. He's looking pretty bright, looking way too close for our planet. So let's come up to our blending mode again and try screen. And we want to screen it so it looks like it's a little more off into the distance faded out a little more subtle there is Mars and I think we have something pretty good going with our background kind of a cool looking space sky so let's now work on this foreground area a little bit with the mountains so I'm gonna come up here and click on mountains right now our sky kind of has this dark purplish bluish kind of effect but our color being cast on our mountain range is all orange which kind of doesn't make much sense okay so we have our mountains layer active we're going to come up and I'm going to add an adjustment layer down here and let's try a gradient adjustment layer and we can come in and we have black to transparent for now let's click on that I'm going to click on the black stop double click and let's click a kind of dark well, actually you know what let's keep that one black and then over here on the white let's get something with kind of a purplish bluish hue something in the kind of cloud range here kind of this light blue let's see how that looks get rid of our opacity stop here all right, we're going to do something like that. Right now, it covers everything up. All right. So, we can't worry about it here. Let's just say black to blue for now. And let's click OK. Now, if we come up to our gradient fill layer and we come up to our blend modes, what happens? Right, we can obviously try multiply and we get something like that. We can try screen, not what we want, brightens it up. We can try overlay, gonna lighten and darken, but now we're getting this weird kind of burnt orange in there, which I don't think looks right. We can also come down to hue, but one thing this gradient's doing, it's affecting everything. I forgot about that. We want it to only affect our mountain. So let's double click on it since we've made it right here on the thumbnail. Double click. Oh, actually, we can't do it on that. Let's. I guess a gradient fill doesn't have that option. So instead, to do our clipping mask, we're going to have gradient fill highlighted. And we're going to option click in between the gradient fill layer and the mountains layer. It has an arrow saying gradient fill is only going to affect this particular layer, which is our mountains, okay? Now that's, our hue is way too blue. We could try color. Doesn't give us a good look. 
and try saturation and you can see it starts to change things a little bit but if we go with hue and we bring our opacity down maybe somewhere around 50 percent we can turn the eyeball on and off and maybe even lower a little bit let's try 40 eyeball on and off and it just kind of gives it a tint similar to what our sky has. Now I also might want to darken this a little bit. So let me add another adjustment layer. And we have one called Brightness and Contrast. It's going to pop up. We want to clip it only to our mountains. So we can click on that. And here you have brightness and I'm just going to darken it up a little bit maybe somewhere around minus 50 because it's kind of a darker kind of sky right you can turn the eyeball on and off from here to see how it's working and we're just kind of darkening it to match our scene a little bit better now I think we got our sky and our mountains and everything looking pretty good. The last thing we need to add is our person. If we look back at what we're working towards, we need to add this guy into the mix. All right. And our colors are a little bit different. I'm doing a little bit different this time in the tutorial, right? This is more orange. This is a little less orange. It's fine. We're still doing the same techniques. I kind of like what we have going better. But we're going to need to add this guy in. And let me command one just so you can see the whole scene. We need to add this guy in and add a shadow cast form. Okay? So we're going to do that in the next tutorial.